Which explorer shall we talk to today, Ollie? What about someone who has been to the final frontier, Fatima? Where's the final frontier? Space! Oh, yeah! Let's talk to somebody who's been to the moon. Great idea. Hololab, find the first person to set foot on the moon. Searching, searching, found. First person to set foot on the moon, Neil Armstrong. The Hololab is going back in time, before mobile phones, before the internet. Hi, I'm Neil Armstrong. In 1969, I was the first person on the moon. Hi, Neil. We're Fatima and Ollie, and we want to ask you a few questions about the moon landings. Okay, sure. Nice to meet you guys. Shoot. How did you get to the moon, Neil? I got to the moon as part of the Apollo 11 mission aboard the Saturn V rocket. Why did you go to the moon? Because no one had been there before, and we wanted America to be the first country to do so. The president asked NASA to design and build a rocket to take us to the moon. How did you get ready to go to the moon? I and the other two astronauts spent months training. We had to understand how to fly the rocket and land the lunar module, and how to get home again. Was training hard work? It was really hard work. It was great fun, too. It was a real adventure into the unknown. No one had ever been to the moon before. NASA had to develop most of the technology we needed for this trip from scratch. Was it scary? Between me and you, it was scary. Sitting in the huge rocket, waiting for takeoff. I was super excited and super scared. We were sitting on nearly a million liters of rocket fuel, which could explode at any moment if something went wrong. But I tried to be brave. This was it. The moment we've been training so hard for. Three, two, one, zero, zero. Wow, look at that. The Earth is moving around the sun at 70,000 miles per hour, and the moon is orbiting the Earth at 2,288 miles per hour. The math that allowed us to calculate the route to the moon was so complicated that NASA had to get some of the best mathematicians in the world to figure it out like Katherine Johnson. She was very, very clever and got us there safely. If she'd made a single mistake in the calculations, we might not have come home at all. Our lives were in her hands. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. How did you know what to say? We knew it was going to be a big moment and that the whole world would be watching, so we thought really hard about it. How come you're so bouncy? When you're on the moon, gravity is just one-sixth of what it is on Earth. So, on the moon, I only weighed about 15 kilograms. What did it feel like being on the moon? When I was on the moon, I looked back at the Earth, where everyone I knew and loved lived. And it looked so small, like a beautiful marble. Wow! Thank you very much for answering all our questions, Neil Armstrong. Thanks, guys. Maybe one day, one of you will go to Mars. Whatever you do, good luck. Mars, that would be so cool. Thanks, Neil. 